Concerned about communication and daily activities due to your hearing impairment? Be annoyed no longer, for Lectio Signum has got you covered. Lectio Signum is a mobile, real-time American Sign Language, or ASL, translator, consisting of muscle and movement sensors that will detect the ASL gesture you are performing Lectio Signum will result in a displayable translation through the comfort and convenience of your mobile device. The user first places the armband below the elbow. The muscle activity sensors in this band comfortably attach to the skin with electrodes no different from those used at your routine hospital checkups. Below it, at the wrist, the second component is placed. This component is responsible for arm movement detection. Here in Lictio Signum, we put a lot of thought into designing a device allowing for the most affordable, lightweight, easy to use, and adjustable translation experience possible. Over 30 million Americans, or roughly 13% of the population 12 years or older, suffer from disabling hearing loss in both ears. Lectio Signum intends to be a real-time, mobile, American Sign Language, or ASL translator that will help bridge the gap between ASL users and English speakers. Lectio Signum consists of two bands that will be worn in unison in order to collect biological signals consisting of muscle activity and arm movement. This data is then processed and classified, resulting in a displayable translation through our user interface. Ultimately, we intend for Lectio Signum to remain affordable due to social inclusion purposes. In order to remain comfortable, we intend for the device to be light and ergonomic and to be able to fit a vast array of arm sizes. Lastly, in terms of our real-time goal, we intend for the device to have 80% accuracy in translation with a maximum delay time of two seconds. The device consists of two separate bands. The arm band includes electromyography or EMG sensors, which detect the electrical activity due to muscle contraction. The sensors are housed in 3D cases custom designed by the team and are attached to the forearm muscles. The raw signals are then processed using active bandpass filters. The filter signals go through a microcontroller board called the Arduino Nano to the computer. The other band includes an inertial measurement unit or IMU that records the acceleration and angular velocity of our movements in three-dimensional access. The Lectio Signum desktop application serves as the main user interface. The application will handle receiving, cropping, and classifying ASL signals and translating them into English, text, and audio. The machine learning model implemented is a random forest classifier that takes statistical parameters such as standard deviation and root mean square as inputs and outputs the gesture performed. To make sure the system works, we first built four bandpass filters and tested their response using body plot analyzers. Then, we connected L electronic component and tested them by acquiring signals. Lastly, we assembled the component into the two bands. For the EMG band, we soldered the sensors and the filters and connected them to the Arduino and batteries. For the IMU band, we connected the accelerometer to the Arduino board and powered them with a battery. To test the accuracy of our signal processing and classification algorithm, we collected data from two subjects using the Delsys Trigno EMG system. We collected 13 distinct generic hand gestures, 20 times each, and obtained a 92% accuracy when classifying them. We also recorded a smaller data set using the Lectio Signal EMG band. We recorded the gestures of L, no, S, and yes, and using a data set of 46 samples, we obtain an accuracy of roughly 90%, which is yet to be iterated with a larger data set. Based on the total cost, the production capacity for the project can reach up to 92 devices in the first year, with a sale price of $800 per unit. After one year of working in Lectio Signum, we have accomplished many of our objectives. We have successfully developed the hardware and software necessary to collect EMG and motion data from the user of our bands. Using preliminary data, we have constructed a machine learning classification algorithm that can successfully predict hand gestures based on biological signals. To continue our work, we plan to extend the gesture dictionary, implement Bluetooth connectivity, add to handed compatibility, and transition our UI to a web application for more versatility.